voted out at the last vote off. Are you ready to your next challenges? Yes. First things first, drop your buffs. Big accomplishment to make it this far. The merge feast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not, not everyone showed up, so we didn't get a merge feast. So you can eat whatever you want after the fact. But yeah, I'll give you guys like five minutes. Azul. All right. So, what do you guys decide for your final team name? Alvarado. What? Where does that come? from? Blue and Arabic. Arabic. Spelled as phonetically as we could find it. <laughs> also, it's kind of Alright, as Bravo team, once again. Oz. <laughs> Oz. Oz Bravo team, congratulations, Paul Shot. Get once again on being into the merge. You guys, ready? you guys ready to find out your first individual challenge? Yes. yes. Alright, first things first, Valentina, keep that back. <clears throat> This is no longer team immunity. Individual immunity is now up for grabs. So, first merge challenge, good old fashioned endurance competition. What you guys are gonna be doing, <laughs> taking a jug, or a gallon of water, holding it over your head. Oh, wow. Simple as that. Every 10 minutes, it's gonna get harder. If it ever hits your head or crosses whatever plane your head is at, you are out and you will be going to the vote off this week. Simple challenge, I don't have any questions. Well, well what's gonna happen with those who are in here? Uh, they can't let them either. So, simple as that. We drink the water when we're done. Start showing sure. up. <laughs> um, also, no, no, like, interfering with other people. Just, like, stay in your line. All right? Let's get set up, let's get started. One winner. All right, survivors ready? So, no. Any last questions before we start? Throw up. No? All right. Can you get set? Survivors ready? Go! <laughs> Anyone want to tell us three? <laughs> you get ready to food out and us? Oh, that's <laughs> epic. Oh, they have to set. Who's the Let's see, we've got most people going with the vertical bottle, Jake going horizontal, Phelan going a bit diagonal with the handle. Interesting. Get that for the factor in the end. So how's the merge? Cool. I was surprised. I like the color. Me too, actually. Yeah. I thought it would be a 10 and a Remember, it breaks the plane of your head or touches your head, you will be eliminated. Now adjusting the orange board long for the reason. Bend the same. I don't know how to commentate this because uh, it's got a weight. But he's so proud. So you need your cut. Hmm? You, you like time lapse this. Yeah, you time lapse. I wasn't going to put people take this walk down a challenge like this. Do they think it's more hazing? <laughs> you pass guy, you're getting low, be careful over there. Breaks the flank. Alright, we are 10 minutes in. Which means, now, tell me this. Should you choose to drop out now, you'll have the opportunity to find a hidden advantage somewhere in this room. So, it's out there, it's in play. We got Preston failing, and then I'll drop in to turn to start looking for the advantage. It can be anywhere in this room, not in anyone's bags or anything. Is it for the vertical challenge? Hmm? Is it for the vertical challenge? It is within reach for everybody. 
as the only clue that It will not be in there. Don't, don't look. Don't yeah, look don't go through the books. Oh, this was a, a nice So, look. just like that, the fact that you've got three down, they're all looking for a potential advantage somewhere in this room. It's not <laughs> Alan. Mead is not on anybody nor in any of their stuff. So now, can I still look for it? Yes, you can. Anyone can drop to look for that advantage. Bram goes down. You've got five people still going for immunity. The other four are looking for an advantage. Where could it be? Where could it be? Zach drops. There's only four left now. Five people looking for the advantage. Looking like Valentina's bet might hit. She said 15 or 20 minutes. We've already got five people out. That's the majority. No, we got a stand. What a commode. We got Ben climbing on furniture. <laughs> oh, the camera falls over. We got Zach looking under desk. Preston almost tears his scrotum in half. I'm not sure if I can say that on camera, but. That's okay. That's the biological term. Yes. Oh, I'm going to vanish being tall. It's been two minutes since I announced the advantage. Still, no one has found it. We've got Valentina, Johnny, Andrew, and Jake all still going for immunity. The other five are looking desperately for this advantage. Hopefully, it's worth whisting out on immunity for. Half more than half people here looking around for an advantage, and you chose to stay there. What's going through your mind right now? Well, I love uh, watching the uh, Real Survivors Endurance videos on YouTube, and I always want to see how far I could go. So, I respect that. I respect that so much. And I just got to vote, so I really want to be still there. All right. You got to move. Jake, how are you feeling right now? Bro, I'm tired. Everyone Everyone's looking for an advantage. Why not just drop? Too much heart. Too much heart. That's an episode title right there. I think I found something with the desk. Oh. I, I think you can play that during your travel. Yeah. Uh, color. Is it, it will be very obvious when you find the advantage that it is an advantage. If you can't tell if it's an advantage or not, then it's not an advantage. I don't know what Todd's got here. We've got people going through. Where are those tissues? Well, no, these are alcohol wipes. Alcohol wipes. Oh my goodness. As if I could fit an advantage in there. You got it. I'm in the way here too. I'm going back. Oh my goodness. Chaos has broken out in the hall of languages on this fine Sunday night. Is that failing going to the trash? No shame. This is not. Oh, is yours? Sorry. I'll see if I saw that back in the first Oh, it's going to be in the most obvious place of all time. Check Andrew's back pockets. I said it's not on me. Oh, I already know. If anyone touch my back pockets, I will be pressing charges. Violation of some kind. Finds the 
advantage. Yep. Advantage is now out of play. Everyone who brought the find the advantage is eliminated. It was under this chair, right? Oh, God, it's right there. Do you have sweat that's going on my nose? I mean, I'd really rather not. That's really... That's your whole brother. No, no, no. That's no, not no. <laughs> You gotta deal with whatever. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Well, that's not fair. I don't think our glasses fit. It's okay. They're coming. Oh, they did. <laughs> I did. That's why I was gonna do it. Cause oh, I did push her glasses no, back no, on. Your glasses must fall off now. Okay. <laughs> if they break, I'll pay. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Tell us when they're falling. They're like literally almost fall off. It's just a little bit of a struggle. She is not yeah. good for me. It's definitely looks like he's struggling the most right now. Thanks, Absolutely. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. Oh. You're getting awfully close there. But am I good? I guess. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's, it's crossing. It's, I'm crossing? All right, Jake, the first person eliminated, not by his own will. Good job. You've got three left at 20 minutes, which means everyone's still in. Please stand on one foot. Can I take off my shoes? Mm. No. Mid-challenge, no. If you, fall, if you do, if you, your yeah. foot touches the ground, you're out now, too. Yeah, keep that foot. You can also not put your foot. Johnny goes down. <laughs> Valentina and Angela. Oh, 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 Zach will receive the immunity article. You will receive that in the coming hours. 
Everyone else, good effort today, but I have nothing else for you. I will see you guys at the boat off. So I found the advantage. I'm really happy about that. I just read the whole thing. I get two votes whenever I want, and I think that's really important. Um, I think now that we're in the merge, a lot of the votes are going to be split pretty evenly. I think there might be some alliances coming up that might go against each other. And I knew I was not going to win the endurance challenge. I was already about to fail, so I'm really happy about this. Okay, go crazy. Um, I'm really disappointed in myself. Um, I really thought that like my shoulders weren't hurting. That wasn't the issue. I was totally fine holding that gallon up, but what was hurting was my heel really bad. So I like props to Andrew completely and I'm really happy for him too because a lot of people like have said just in the past that like he's like um, physically weaker. So I think that this, you know, showed a lot and I'm really happy for him. That's awesome. So go you. Um, definitely messed up my ego a lot. Catch me going to the gym really hard this uh, week. Okay. Uh, yeah, so awesome that we made the merge. That was really cool. Um, I kind of expected it. Uh, we, there was talks about it. Um, but it's like, obviously, you never know until it happens. Um, yeah, I like kind of took away. I definitely learned when we had a semi-individual immunity challenge with the pacer test. Um, I stayed in it and didn't go for the advantage. And I regret that because I knew... As soon as we got a little bit farther, I was never going to be, you know, Jay Graham. So I saw Valentina next to me, and she hadn't moved an inch, so I was like, and I was already struggling, so when I heard that there was an advantage in the room, I was like, I'm not going to make the same mistake. It didn't pay off, but I'm glad I did it. I knew I wasn't going to beat either of those two. Um, seems like that was a consensus for the people that stayed in and didn't go for the advantage, so no regrets, but yeah, it's exciting. Hey, what's up? Look what I got. Okay, so, I truly don't know how I won that. Just got back from the merge. Um, obviously, like, super excited. Well, on Sunday, I was out of the challenge because I went home for the weekend. Um, but everybody texted me and told me that we had merged and that Andrew had won the challenge, that Graham had gotten an advantage, and that Zach was given a hidden clue. I have so much to say right now, so much has happened, and I'm really backed up on vlogs, so I think I'm just going to sit here and spew information to the camera for 20 minutes, so hopefully the editors have fun with this one. I'm a little scared. I don't know what to think, because right now, Old Noir is in the minority, clearly. Amit was the last kind of clear-cut vote out, but... I'm worried that losing Noir members is doing us more harm than good. The old Sukara seems to be wanting to stick together. Um, if they do, they have a majority. But in theory, if we did this, if it was me, Ben, Valentina, Graham, and Johnny, and Kata, we have six. I saw... I think this was the day after the challenge i saw phil in the hallway and she just said she was gonna go talk with valentina and ben and then when she got back she would talk to me about it so they went and phil came back and phil proposed their plan which i really like i want to ride till the end with that so it's basically um me and johnny an alliance with me and johnny her and valentina and also ben and kata and I obviously trust Johnny a lot, I trust Ben a lot, I trust Kata a lot, I trust Phelan a lot, and since all those people trust Valentina, I kind of trust her by default. And that is six of us, and in a merge of 11, that's the majority, and the two advantages with votes are with me and Valentina. So there's not really any chance that this can go wrong as I see it right now. Really the only thing that can mess up this plan with six people is if the Esukar's people know we backstab them, they find an idol, they guess correctly who we're voting out, they play the idol, and they would either get me or Johnny out. And that would just that would just suck. And then after I talked to Johnny, I went back out and I talked to Phelan again and just said, Hey, like I'm on board. He's kind of on the fence, but I'm only 
telling you this because, like, it's, in my opinion, it's the best thing that we can do. It's the safest. So I just told her I would really try to convince Johnny to do this because it's also good for him. I want to throw out the idea of potentially Jake going home. I have to decide whether or not it's more strategic to talk about getting rid of Preston or talking about getting rid of Skylar. Um, my thing with Skylar is she hasn't really done anything to make people mad and I feel like she would vote with us, but after last week, I don't trust Preston and I don't trust Skylar. Um, they've come to me, at least Skylar's come to me and apologized and said she wants to work with me, so I'm gonna take that as good news. Um, but also that could just be her wanting to get the target off my back, thinking that I have the numbers. So if we can get Graham and Johnny to work with us, which I think they will, if we do that, we have the six to five. And we could potentially even get Skylar in on it in the last seven four. And Preston did mention to me, he made an offhanded comment. If you pull any of that idol shit again, I'm just gonna. And I was like, Okay, I really like my position in this game right now. Um, first of all, Johnny and Graham survived the um, Esukaris vote, which was so huge for us because we think they're going to come back. So that's really good. I'm, I'm glad to see a Mitt gone who was targeting me. At least that's what I heard. The other thing is we had our challenge. I was dying i couldn't stay there for that long but they gave us the opportunity to look for an advantage and graham gets it and i'm happy he got it because it's the same advantage as valentina which i found out from you know some sleuthing um it's an extra vote so with this extra vote we can now kind of push the numbers against them because if they tie it we could use the extra vote and and win this crucial first vote or if they use it they can only tie and as long as everyone stays strong on the old su cars which is the goal um we can go from there and then lastly andrew wins the first challenge which let's go like what a beast he's awesome so glad he won the first challenge he has a chance to give the idol clue to someone he chooses Zach, who I'm kind of surprised about because Zach has really kind of quietly worked his way into this game. Um, he's got a solid connection with Valentina. He's got a pre-game alliance that, I mean, has probably grown a little bit with Jake. And he's looking like a tiny, like, <clears throat> he's looking like a threat. And I'm, I'm not going to tell him that, obviously. But, you know, like, there's some advantage. Like, he's playing the game really sneakily right now. Or, and I don't even know if that's a word. But he's he's got a bunch of connections on the other side. And, um, yeah, that's just something to watch out for. So my game plan is that I have no game plan. Like, absolutely none. Because I just did not think I was going to win this week. And I thought I was going to go home, so... Oh, also, I forgot about this. So, I don't know if I said this in an earlier vlog, but Graham texted me and asked, this was yesterday and today, asked if I could show him the, or if he could have the noir clues to the idol because he was afraid. And so I have it in my drawer back there. Um, but it's a strategic play to give him the clues. So hopefully he just got the advantage today in the challenge. Hopefully he kind of returns the favor and it'll work out better for me because in reality I gave him nothing. I really like my position. I talk with Skylar and Skylar is basically my number one ally. She's been like this whole game and we talked about it and we're like, okay, like how do we want to do this? and how do we want to approach it and we just have to tread lightly we have to make sure we're voting out the right person and we're not going to get idled out because that's basically our risk here and i might get votes on me but as long as the six st stay strong 
and there's no idle plays, hidden advantages, any nonsense, I should be good. Last night, I had a Zoom call with myself, Skyler, Preston, Johnny, Graham, Andrew, the original members of SU, the old SU Kairos tribe that are still in the game. We had a discussion. It was the six of us from old SU Kairos, and we're like, okay, so who do we want to vote out? Skyler was very pro, I want to get rid of Jake. Obviously, I do not want that to happen. Skyler's pushing hard for Jake, and Zach is pushing hard for anyone else. I made a very, very long argument to, as to why to keep him. The problem is the way Zach presents it makes it seem like he's not with us and not a threat. Or like, it makes it seem like he wants to work with Jake and keep him in. And unfortunately, that's not resonate with Skylar. So the thing is with me and Preston, we're nervous that Zach is secretly pretty close to Jake since they're in the same frat. I called Skylar after the whole thing and I was like, oh, so how'd you feel about that? And she's like, ooh, I'm wary of Zach. But then Zach called me and was like, oh, like this is what I'm thinking. After the Zoom call, I got on the phone with Preston and I made a very compelling argument as to why to keep him and why it benefits us because getting rid of Jake is best for Skyler's game. So I'd like to vote Jake out this week. I know Phelan and Valentina are also behind voting Jake out. It's tough. Uh, it's tough managing all these people. But the thing is right now, I, I think I'm the, the middle person, which is perfect. I'm the swing vote, not the swing vote, but when it comes down to it, everyone is turning towards me for advice for everything, which is great because if I'm still in the game and we're down to like six or seven, I can go a multitude of different ways because people want to work with me. So I want to keep it that way. Like they don't know how close me and Sky are and the other people don't know how close that like I am with anyone. So that's that's basically my strategy right now. And if I can keep it so everyone wants to work with me, I can maybe dodge me just being a threat to win this game. I think Skylar is positioning herself very well in this game. She is it's obvious she's reached out to multiple people and she's connected well with Valen and Valentina. And to be quite honest, even though I should be trusting her, I don't trust her. They've been being very shady, not telling anybody that they're in a frat together. Um, and I also wouldn't want to vote any girls out right now because we have voted girls out almost every single time except for a minute. Like every single time. So we need to stick the girls together before the boys decide to go up and gang against the last of us. I'll keep you updated. Let me know if you hear anything. I will. Um, Alright. Okay. Sounds good. Bye. Good night. Um. I don't trust this girl at all. Okay, I just finished my conversation with Skylar. She goes, first of all, she blatantly just said like, I feel confident that if I'm, like, if I stay in, like, I won't be voted out. I'll make it to final six, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Girl, you sound like a tyrant. You literally sound like I got my minions in place. I got them in lock. And, like, you might have to go, but, like, I'm for sure staying. And, like, the rest of Noir might have to go just because we've been working with them, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I'm staying. You screwed yourself over, sis. You screwed yourself over. I'll see you around, though. This is a wild thought. Okay. Wild thought. Like, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> like, if we... I know it's like... I don't want Jake to go this vote just to get 5-5. Five, five. Like, that's a personal thing. So we too. can't let that happen. Zach said I, I want Zach. I... But, like, also, if... We keep Let me show me a picture of Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just don't remember. I also it. needed that, but then I met him. So like, because they're together, they're the easiest to like bring to us and vote with us. We're Preston and Skyler since they're close with Griffin, Andrew. Graham. <laughs> I keep <laughs> saying that. It's Graham. Thanks. That's scary to break that up. We're Zach and Jake. If they're by themselves, who are they gonna get? Not those people. We work with Jake, so we're the closest to them. Get. Do you, think, do you think Zach, Jake could get 
like us and Jake could get Zach to flip on. Yeah. Easier. Who's the easiest one to get him to flip on? Preston. I feel like I don't know how close Zach is to Preston. I feel like not. Mm -hmm. You guys just weren't other like tribe. Did Zach seem like he talked a lot to Preston? Because they might be also thinking about the numbers thing. They might be also wanting to get rid of the old norm. norm. Graham said the people that they're looking at right now are, are Zach and Jake. Yeah. That's what Graham said. All Skylar and Andrew said to me were that they don't think that it's going to be like a norm as you call this thing. Like, just oh, like, scary like, that it could. I feel like you guys have to sell to them that we've lost connection. So who can we vote on? Griffin, Johnny, Preston. Barrett, stop <laughs> saying Griffin! It's just. Yeah. We Graham. Cut the game. <laughs> Graham, Johnny, Johnny, Preston, or Skyler. Those not are Johnny. Better. I feel like Johnny will work with us. And not Graham, then, right? So, okay, now, wait, I'm too scared to fuck Graham. We can't that. split Graham and Johnny right now either. One of them is going to tell the other. They talk way too much yeah. about any. They're not strategic with who they tell what at all. They tell everyone everything. Right. Mm -hmm. So. Skylar said that Preston's also like that. We also, Skylar said like Preston was really good at strategizing, which I have not gotten from Preston. Oh, she told me that he does not look like him. And that he's not good at strategizing at all. He just says whatever's on his Okay, mind. yeah. What's up guys? It's now 8 o'clock, about an hour and a half before the vote, and I just want to make a quick update from my last vlog. Preston and Skylar both reached out to me just clarifying what we're doing tonight. I said like, we're voting Jake, and I said, Ben and Cops are voting Jake, which is true, but that made Skylar and Preston feel better because they were a little worried about Zach flipping, so now they're all fine with it. But Valentina and Phelan should also be voting Jake. So, like I said before, it should be 9-2. to two, And then we know that um, Zach isn't good. I miss the early days of this game when the votes were unanimous and there wasn't any second guessing. There was no advantages to worry about. Nothing. People overthink everything. It's simple. The game is about survival, okay? I understand you want to set yourself up for the future, but we have a fucking plan we should be able to execute it. Like, we have a plan in place that will get us from point A to point B. All we gotta do is not mess with it, but people keep wanting to change things, okay? Here's what I think's gonna happen. Based on what everything said, that's being said, it's probably going to be Andrew going home tonight. Graham is gonna play his advantage. That's a given, okay? Because they think Zach's voting with them and that that'll flip it, the tide in their favor. Zach's gonna vote with us. We're gonna stay strong and go from there. Apparently, Phelan and Valentina aren't very close. I let Zach do most of the talking, honestly, for our sake. I have no problem with trusting people. If we can get through this vote and that advantage gets flushed, I mean, I feel really confident in final six, at least. So right now the plan is to vote Jake and we have the numbers. We should have even Ben and Kata. Um, my only concern is Valentina and Phelan are let in on this. So it's right now it's 10-1 on him. Um, <laughs> do they follow through? No. I don't know if they do. Like, why, why would they have any reason to trust us? Okay. So there's a lot that has been happening. Um, I actually was just on a group FaceTime call with Valentina, Kata, Ben, and me. Ideally, we are final four. I don't see us splitting up um, until that point, at least. Now it's a question of who we're bringing in as final six. We've kind of told two different little couples that we want them to be our final six. So option A was originally voting with Graham and Johnny. And we were going to try and take out Jake or Zach. We we're going to try to take out Zach. But the problem is Graham and Johnny wouldn't vote out Zach and the, they don't want to screw over their old Esucaris members. They are trying to play this game of like not pissing anyone off and people pleasing everyone. And if you can't make a commitment to the people that saved your ass like previously, I don't trust you. So I try and talk quiet because I don't know if he's like at my door. But <clears throat> basically our option right now is we've roped in Jake and Zach because we showed Jake and Zach the text messages Graham has been sending us, which was Jake's gone, 
now and don't worry Zach's the next to go so like we showed it to them and obviously they're like screw that we're gonna vote with you guys so we're taking out Skylar because when I think of it <clears throat> I think of the old tribe being there's little couples so there's me and Valentina there's Jake and Zach Phi Cat boys there's me and Valentina uh Phi Sig sorority girls there's Ben and Kata, film fraternity, little couple. And then there's Graham and Johnny, the like little outcasts, the underdogs. And then we've got this little situation where there's Preston, Skylar, and Andrew. And the only thing really holding that together with the old Esucar tribe in our eyes is Skylar. Because Skylar seems to be close with Andrew. Andrew seems to be close to Zach. Skylar seems to be close to Zach. And Skylar brings in Preston. So without Skylar, it all kind of falls apart. Not to mention, she both said to me at Core Life and to Valentina over FaceTime that she has no worries about going home. When someone says that, they have way too much power. And someone that is that comfortable in the game is scary. Because why are you that comfortable? I don't think she has an idol. Hidden immunity idol. Congratulations, you have found a hidden immunity idol. When played at Tribal Council, any vote cast against you will not count. If you intend to play the idol for yourself or someone else, you must do so any time before the votes are read. The last time I played this is at Final 5 vote off. Text Andrew Clark that you have found this idol as soon as possible. Be sure to vlog this moment. For any additional questions, text host Andrew Clark. So I looked up Syracuse Statues 1809, and Abraham Lincoln was born in 1809. And I know Maxwell's statue is 1809, or is Abraham Lincoln. So I was like, okay, I'll go look over there. So there's people all around, it's the middle of the day, and I go to look, and I'm looking all around Abraham Lincoln's statue, and behind his hands is this. So, I I don't feel like I need the immunity idol, especially not this week or the next few weeks, because I have a strong alliance, but I'm just happy I have it so that I know that nobody else has it. Welcome, as Bravo, to your first vote off as a merged team. Let's get comfortable, we're gonna be here for a little bit, we got nine people here today phelan will be late bleach will be here for the challenge jake will not be here tonight let's talk about your first merge challenge first zach ben preston all of you immediately dropped your jugs as soon as we brought out the idea of the advantage what was your thought process behind that and you can answer that i can go first um, I knew at 10 minutes when you said that there was going to be something, I was like, mm, not going to win this, so I might as well just drop out now. And to be honest, I wasn't even thinking about the, like, uh, advantage, honestly. Like, I just was going to, like, if I found it, I found it, but I just didn't want to do it anymore. Um, I'm not going to win it, so, like, why continue over 10 minutes when I could possibly get an advantage at that point? So, I just dropped. Zach or Preston, anything to add? Uh, I actually, like did it, like, I kind of, like, dropped it, like, on my own, you know what I mean? Like, my arms gave out, like, I didn't actually. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I, like, I think, it, I think it lasted, like, a few more minutes, from what I remember. I didn't drop it right away. Either way. I dropped it right away. Right away. I'll admit it, I dropped it right away. <laughs> uh, Graham, you dropped a couple minutes afterwards the initial everyone dropped, and you ended up finding it, so why wait those extra couple minutes? Uh, I think I just sort of came to the same realization that Ben and Preston did, but just a little slower. Like, I was thinking the same thing the first few minutes. Like, I feel terrible right now. My arms are so tired. I know I'm not going to win. I really don't know why I didn't drop it immediately. And I, I just got lucky finding it with less time than everyone else. Andrew, you ended up winning the first individual immunity of the merge. How did that feel? Um, I think I'm really grateful for the opportunity to win. I think it puts me in a really good, um, I don't want to say it, but good position for um, tribal just to see how everybody votes, how everybody solidifies their alliances, and who's telling the truth and who's not. You also chose to give the clue to the merge in the immunity idol to Zach. What was your thought process behind that? Um, Double trouble, we started out together, thought, why not? That was cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love the theme of the season being incorporated. Yeah, Zach, as we just said, you received the first clue to the Merchant and Media Idol. Were you surprised? Like, what was going through your mind? Um, I kind of was surprised. I'm really, really grateful, though, that Andrew was able to give me that clue. And 
Yeah, I definitely was not expecting it. Kata, welcome back. We've missed you. It's been a couple challenges. Um, does not being here the last couple of challenges put you in a precarious predicament today? Uh, now that everyone is on the same team, or do you think you've made enough like strong wishes with your other castmates uh, for your absence to not really matter? Um, I mean, when I was more active, not last weekend, but when I was more active, I definitely made some moves that helped people who are in this room today, and I just, at the end of the day, I'm hoping that, you know, what I did then will help me when I had to miss the challenge. Skylar, you also missed the first merge challenge. How are you feeling coming into the day? Um, I feel pretty good. I trust everybody that I've worked with and like been talking to, so I'm not too concerned. I'm worried about the challenge though because I can't physical challenge. Oh, um, I don't know about that one. So I'm a little nervous about the challenge. The vote I'm not as nervous about, but I don't really like being a tribal at all, so I'm still nervous in general. Preston, what's the vibe of this Asbarapo team like? What was it like planning for tonight with everyone um, but Andrew on the block tonight? I mean, it was cool. Like, I, um, well, it was a bunch, of, a bunch of new faces. I haven't worked with Ben or Kappa yet, so I'm excited to, you know, be with them and talk with them a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it was just more of like, um, what, what's everyone thinking? It's like every other tribal, I'd say. Ben. Original Esu Cars has numbers right now over Original Noir 6-5. Are you feeling nervous or have the team line started to blur a bit? I think by now, since the merge always happens, it's always bringing this like, oh, what's going to happen next? Um, you got to figure out that sometimes it's better to work with people that you haven't worked out just because that's going to progress you in the game more. Um, so it's like sad to see someone that you may have worked with prior leave, but like, if it's going to help me right now, Obviously, we're not the majority, so like that kind of sucks, but like, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Valentina, obviously you now have the opportunity to kind of work with and speak with the people that you haven't really had the chance to work with before, now that you're all on the same team. With that being said, is now the time to make a big move, or is it better to wait until you have a better grasp of what the team dynamics are? Um, I think the big move I'm making tonight is definitely gonna put me in a good spot moving forward. Uh, I think it's also going to give me the opportunity to talk to those people that I haven't been able to recently, so I'm, I'm prepared. Johnny, same question to you. Is now the time to make a big move or is it better to wait? I feel like the first tribal after uh, the merge is a great time to make a big move. Uh, especially when you think about numbers. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Graham, what will this vote do for the Asbarapo team and how will it affect the game going forward? It's a good question. I think it really depends on how this vote goes, but I think it'll, as Skylar said before, it'll really show who you can trust, who's telling you the truth, and where you can move on from that in the future. All right, let's go vote. Hopefully this went well. I swear to God, if you go home, it's just, I'm just gonna laugh really hard. But if you don't go home, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> First vote, Jake.
Second vote. Jake. Third vote. Skyler. Fourth vote. Skyler. That's two votes Jake, two votes Skyler, seven votes left. Fifth vote. Jake. Sixth vote, Skyler. That's three votes, Jake. Three votes, Skyler. Five votes left. Seventh vote, Jake. Eighth vote, Skyler. That's four votes, Jake. Four votes, Skyler. Three votes left. Ninth vote, Jake. Tenth vote, Skyler. That's five votes, Jake. Five votes, Skyler. One vote left. The eighth person voted out of Survivor Syracuse and the first member of our jury. Skylar. Skylar, come on up. Drop your buff. Try to smoke it. All right. First merge vote done. It was as close as it could be. Nothing else for you guys. I'll see you guys at the challenge.